Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We're doing it. We are here. We are here at Classic Pianos. We're a couple days late, but thank you so much for joining us for the Tom Grant Band reunion show. It's been over 500 years since these people have played together, so it's really a joy to have them once more on stage together. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there that have been really excited to uh, for this moment to become a reality. Uh, Mario Miranda is here with his whole family that has been waiting for years to see the Tom Grant play band play live. Um, Adrian March, a cousin's bartender, is here in the chat. So we would what? just like really? to thank... Oh, cool. So we would just like to thank everybody for um, joining us tonight who has loved the Tom Grant band, who has been waiting for this moment. It's uh, really exciting uh, for us also. Um, so... With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to support the Tom Grant Band, don't be afraid to throw some money into one of those digital tip jars. Um, that is how we are surviving these crazy times. If you would like to support these musicians, throw some money in there. Uh, we are asking also for a donation of $25 or more. 20 bucks or more gets you in the raffle. Uh, there is, I, I apologize, what is, the, what is the prize tonight? Oh, it's the tasting. The tasting of that. So uh, we would like to... Uh, Give something back to you. So for 20 bucks or more, gets you into a raffle for a tasting uh, flight for four at the Stoller Family Estate, the uh, tasting, the experience center, um, sh a charcuterie board, a cheese board, tasting flight for four. It's a, uh, a really great time, super delicious, um, socially distanced and safe. Um, but also, if you just need to hang out for free, that is totally cool. We are so glad that you are here spending some time with us. Uh, a great free way to help out the stream is to smash that share button. Tag someone you know in the comments that might dig these tunes. Share the links around. It really makes a difference for viewership and to help everybody see uh, this incredible thing that we're doing tonight. We are so happy to be a part of it. Thank you to Stoller Family Estates for uh, helping us out. Thank you to Mert Meeker for making this possible, as well as Aaron and Renee Meyer, um, uh, an incredible team has come together to make this a reality. So we're just so thankful for everyone who's supporting this night. And we're thankful for you all for being here. Uh, that was a lot to say. Tom, how you doing? <laughs> oh, you wore me out there. <laughs> I, 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 I know there's a... Thanks, there's a Moses. <laughs> this is our, uh, our host, uh, host with the most, Mr. Moses. Doing and uh, Left Door best. Streaming is, is responsible for the, the great uh, technical vibe of this of this presentation. Thank you, Left Door Streamers. And, uh, well, it's great to be back with the fellas. It's, uh, Mr. Jeff Leonard on bass right here. Yeah. And Dan Balmer over there on guitar, the Ooh. guitar whiz. And our drummer extraordinaire, Carlton Jackson. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, usually I say uh, to the folks out there, uh, watching us, send us your requests. But I think I'll say it anyway. Send us your requests. <laughs> we do have a list of songs that, that I'm, we're committed to doing based on, uh, uh, yeah, based on rehearsal <laughs> and uh, sev <laughs> several other factors of short memory and age. Uh, but uh, we just like to see what you uh, would, would like to hear. We, uh, we already got one in Del uh, Delicio. Delicioso. Delicioso. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're not doing too good. Uh, we're zero for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have us back, and we'll we'll do all those. No, but th these are mostly we're going to do mostly songs from way back when, when we were playing our little hearts out at Cousins Cafe and and uh, Cafe Vivo at the U.S. Bank Court Tower. But uh, that that last song is called Angels Crossing, and right now uh, we're going to do a song written by our guitar player. Uh, Mr. Dan Balmer, who is a, a, a not only a great guitar playing guy, but he's a, a, a wonderful songwriter too. So this is one of his songs. It's called "Becoming Became." Wh Dan, was this on? This was on your record, right? Your first record. Yes, this was on my first CD, and this was the song you produced on the CD and I played the piano solo, <laughs> and it was my most successful song. Go figure. Figure. <laughs> so, yeah, you played the beautiful piano solo and kind of put the template together. And then Tony Lash came in and, and sort of spruced it up and mixed it. Yeah. And it was the title song of my first CD. And, and uh, I always say it was got up to number 10 on the charts. And I thought life was going to be so easy in the music business. A piece of cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, Easy game. And not exactly a piece of cake. <laughs> But this was, yeah, so this was a, a song. This title, Becoming Became, is sort of about a point of being of change when you're moving from one self into the next self and this mm -hmm. point of kind of transition that we can always be in if we're evolving. 
And here it is now. Dan, kick it off for us, will you, baby?
Yeah, baby. Dan Balmer. Uh, there's been a question of how many years since you've played together. A couple of people have asked. We were trying to figure it out before, beforehand. Yeah, and it's perfect it's question <laughs> because uh, we talked about this beforehand while we were rehearsing. I have no idea. Yeah, we, yeah no, we couldn't no. we couldn't figure we, out. A we number, actually right? did a, a, a we did a reunion gig about Hayden huh Hayden that was Hayden Island about what 25 years ago or something. I think it was the late 90s. What did somebody say out there? At least 16. <coughs> yeah. But but this this was the one that we were all really looking forward <laughs> to. Thank you, Mert. Thank you, Mert and Carolyn. Yeah. We like yeah. to strike while, <laughs> while the iron's hot. <laughs> yes. So uh, right now we're going <coughs> to... We're going to uh, dive into another tune that we... That we recorded. Did we record this together? Uh, this is uh, uh, this was on when I was on uh, Verve Forecast, I believe, and I'm not sure what record. Oh, it was the the this was the title track in my wildest dreams. Yeah, okay, this is the title track, which means it bears the um, yeah, whatever you know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and we're going to do some singing, and I gotta get this mask off because it's very hard. It's hard enough to talk, let alone sing. Now, do we have any little, little stories that go with this? I don't think so. I do have some stories, though, from uh, about verb forecasts, and I will uh, talk to you about those later. <laughs> Yesterday is just a memory Every door lay in front of me Lay in front of me Open wide All the plans laid so carefully Made from dreams only I could see Only I Can't sleep ever in my wildest dreams. Oh, yeah. Everything that was clear to me soon became just a mystery. Just a mystery. To unfold When I think about your magic charms Never thought that I'd be in your arms In your arms, in your arms To be told Cause never in my flights of When I can't sleep Ember in my wildest dream Take it, Dan
Yeah, it's so nice to have the background vocals there. Good job. Yeah. So uh, this next song that we'd like to do <coughs> was on the, the the original Jazz Cat album, but but the the title of the album was actually Tom Grant. Oh, which reminds me, I was going to say uh, we have some Jazz Cat Sweat. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jazz Cat swag is upon us now. I believe that right there is an original 1980s vintage Jazz Cat oh, long yeah, sleeve shirt. Yes. But there is now a store on Amazon where you can purchase all manner of Jazz Cat swag. Uh, we've got baseball tees, we've got mm -hmm. hoodies, we've got posters. You can we get posters that. with the artwork yeah. from the original artist. We got that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah. If Th you this was like the original. Excuse me, uh, no, no, no. Moses, for interrupting mm. so rudely. But <laughs> <laughs> it's your show, man. Get it. Oh, get it. it Go is? get it. It is. It oh, is. Cool. I think you're on the leaderboard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is the original design of that album uh, that is now sort of referred to as the Jazz Cat album. But uh, I think Moses. Uh, covered it all as far as mm -hmm. what, what was available and uh, everything but the price. Uh, Which actually, I don't and know, and, and Amazon will tell you. I know. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. All different prices, and you can go on, what, on my Facebook? Uh, it's on the chat right now. Okay, yeah, cool. follow the link in chat. All right. So that's so much for Jazz Cat swag, and we're going to do uh, a song uh, from that album. I think it was the first track, and it was sort of uh, the result of an album that I had done earlier, uh, it was my second, yeah, it's my second ever album, that didn't do too much commercially. And so I thought, I, maybe I should just write a song that would be really good for one of those you know, morning talk shows. And sure enough, uh, they played this song for about three years or, or more uh, on the AM Northwest show. 
whoop de doo So, uh, <laughs> so we call, yeah, so we call this the morning show. Some people are asking for it. So you're you're doing a request right is now. Is this a request? This is a request oh, right now. We're sure. we're nailing a request. <laughs>
being showed so hard. <laughs> uh, this is just a reminder that these musicians are working for your tips and your tips alone. So if you could find it in your hearts and in your wallets to throw a couple dollars into one of the digital tip jars, it is the best way uh, to show your support for these incredible musicians on stage. Uh, but also, we want to give something back to you. So if you put in $20 or more to one of the digital tip jars, that puts you into a raffle for a chance to win a $100 tasting experience at the Stoller Family Estate Winery. That's a tasting flight for four with a charcuterie and a cheese board. It's a really delicious time. It's a really good time. It's a socially distant safe time. Uh, so throw some dollars in there. But also, if you just need to hang out for free, that is totally cool. We are just glad that you are here. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. A great free way to help out the stream is to smash that share button, tag someone in the comments that you know might dig these tunes, send the links around. It really helps with uh, the visibility and helps promote this incredible music. Uh, Tom, people want to know what people have been up to. Uh, does does everybody want to give a quick update as to what they've been up to these last 25 years, real quick? What have, what have you been up to these last what 25 years? What have I been up to? <laughs> I've, I've been up to my neck in, in bills. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Music and bills. Yeah. Uh, I've been, uh, actually, I've been doing, well, since the, uh, the pandemic started, I, I've been doing... Uh, every Wednesday night, started mm -hmm. out at my house doing Wednesday night uh, live stream, and then I, I hooked up with these great guys, uh, Left Door Streaming, Moses and uh, Jordan, and and uh, there's a whole another crew. Oh, and wh what's your name? Haley. Haley is on with us tonight because it's a very special. It's night. a very special night. Uh, but I've been doing these live streams, uh, and. Uh, a buddy of mine in in Seattle uh, talked to me, kind of talked me into it. Mike Cantrell, hi Mike, <laughs> and uh, his lovely wife Amy, and they talked me into this because uh, I never would have thought to do this on my own uh, because uh, I'm technologically extremely challenged, and so. Uh, but we've been doing it for now. Let's see. Oh, wow. I mean, it's since it all shut yeah, down. Nine yeah, nine months. Yeah, it's been a while. So uh, yeah, and and I love it, and it's been. Fabulous. Uh, we started out doing it at my house, and then we uh, we started doing. Uh, oh yeah, and that's another feature of doing it here. We we have the loud mufflers going <laughs> past. So. No, uh, but anyway, uh, we're doing it. Uh, we've been doing it for uh, I don't know a few months mm -hmm. here at Classic Pianos. The first and third Wednesdays of of every month we do it here at Classic. Absolutely. This is a great piano store, and I, I got a. Uh, Give a plug for them because if you're looking Absolutely. for a piano, this is the place to come. Not only do they have <coughs> an infinite variety <laughs> of, of great pianos, but they're wonderful people and they're they're yeah. fun to deal with and they'll give you a great deal. I am a Yamaha artist, <coughs> have been for for uh, quite a few years now, and I love these Yamaha pianos. You're playing a nice one. Yeah, yeah, this is a really <laughs> beautiful one. Jeff, what have uh, what have you been up to since since the the band? I wasn't it's finished. Fun, yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Just a little joke there. <laughs> Go, Jeff. Uh, you know, I've had a, a variety of projects that I had some some part in. Uh, a band that Dan played in called Hearing Voices that did a record. Uh, a project called Val Gardena that did some records oh. for Mercury. That's right. Carlton plays on that, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just freelancing around town, playing with cool. who, uh, whoever calls. And, of course, for the last year, it's been... A little quiet the, the, on that front. <laughs> the phone uh, has been ringing less. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, this is actually the first first gig of the year, so that feels pretty oh, nice. Oh man! Uh, and then, uh, li like Dan, uh, I teach at Lewis and Clark College, which is oh, a very great. very full time uh, thing for which I'm really grateful. Uh, and I was I was telling you Moses before the show and some of the crew, uh, what you're doing with Left Door Streaming is just oh, it's thank you. it's a godsend because uh, you know. We try and send our students out to hear live music because that's what helps keep it alive and mm -hmm. you know cultivate uh, the listeners of the future. And uh, you know, th there's no place for them to go now. But but thanks to Left Door Streaming, I can confidently say, look, just go check out any show on that mm -hmm. site, and it's going to be good, and you're going to get a real thing. And the camera work and the sound, it's all so yeah. top notch. I mean, it, it's it's a fantastic service that you guys are providing. So thank you. Uh, you know, yeah, we are all really grateful to you. Thank for you. It. Thank you. Dan, what have you, what have you been up to? I, I heard that Lewis and Clark, Lewis and Clark College is in here. Yeah, Jeff and I are both there. Uh, I've been uh, 
working with my groups, you know, had a group called Go By Train. I play with a group called Trio Subtonic that I think we're working oh, together yes. on Friday, this Friday, Friday at, at 1905 at right. 6 o'clock, Trio Subtonic. We'll be there. Um, uh, I have a group called Caminos Cruzados uh, with Nat Holscape and Israel Ono. Um, so I've been, you know, trying to keep the music going and, and actually put out a record a couple of years ago um, as a sign of having had a, a couple dollars too many. If you have two dollars <laughs> too many, you make a record and then you don't have that problem anymore. Uh, but still trying to write music and still practicing every day. And, um, you know, I've got two sons that, that are the center of my life. Oh, great. And, um, uh, just grateful, and this is a wonderful event. You know, it's just very meaningful to be with the guys and making music with the guys and remembering how special this was and is in this moment, special. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. any rate, only, only, uh, only grateful. Good feelings, positive. Uh, Carlton Jackson, what have you been up to? Well, uh, let's see. The, uh, the co COVID virus just took us, took us all out. Yeah, man. Um, I was working, and now I'm not working. <laughs> as, yeah. as, I'm, as I'm sure yeah. a lot of people are not working. I feel that. Especially, well, especially entertainers. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, this is what we've been... I saw this the other day on Facebook, and somebody just really crystallized it for me. It was like, you know, uh, we, we, we just have to be strong. Mm -hmm. We have to be strong. Yeah. Uh, other, other than that, um, I'm coming up on year 11 of uh, my radio show at oh, great. KMHD. Fantastic. Of course, called, yes, it's absolutely. Called, it's called the Message, and um, I'm I'm really I'm really happy to be be on a station with all those people, especially Matt Flieger, who who really takes care of us, and uh, we'll see what we can do. But uh, right now, I guess I'm I'm just happy to be playing mm -hmm. music. You know, right Absolutely. now, and um, you know, hopefully, everybody will be ready for it when we can go back That's out and, and and see it again. And uh, when when is when does that show air? What's your schedule? It's uh, Sundays at seven p.m. Seven awesome. to seven to ten, and um, I've been I've been trying to listen to the show and and do the uh, playlists for the people so they can know what they're they're listening to, even though we're not at the station. Um, they have a bunch of archives of my show, and I've been really enjoying listening to it because you know when you're on the air, you, you're on the air, and you don't have time to just sit and take it in. But uh, thanks to KMHD, thanks to Matt Flieger, thanks to all the DJs and whatnot, and uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll we'll start back up, and uh, I'll get a call for a recording or something like yeah, that. Yeah, man, it's around the corner. We're we're close. I feel like we're close, yeah. hopefully. Fingers crossed. Well, uh, thank you so much uh, to everyone uh, for joining us here for this incredibly special evening. And uh, it's really special to have you guys on stage. And I know everyone in the chat is really feeling that. It's such a special moment to see you guys playing together again. Um, but we would also like uh, to thank our sponsors. A huge thank you to uh, Mert Meeker and Aaron Meyer. Uh, and Renee Meyer and uh, for helping put this whole thing together, but also a huge thank you to uh, Stoller Family Estates. Um, they just finished their new experience center. It's a really incredible building. It's really worth checking out. Um, it's such an amazing space to be, to experience the wine, to learn about the wine. And right now we have a very special message from Stoller Family Estates. Give me red too.
mask. Okay, uh, I just wanted to say uh, this is really wonderful that uh, to get back together with these guys because they're genu genuinely funny people <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just great human beings. And uh, I kind of forgot the what it felt like to be on stage with them. I'm really digging it. So, uh, oh, and I, w I wanted to throw this question out to you guys. What was our last, other than that, the kind of uh, ill-conceived uh, reunion gig we did however many years ago. <coughs> what was our our last band gig? Hmm. I think it was New Year's Eve at Cafe Vivo. Uh, Is that right? Yeah, either at the end of... New Year's Eve, Cafe Vivo, 93. Is that right? Yeah. There's a bunch of Cafe Vivo devotees in the chat. <laughs> a lot of Cafe de Vivo people. Vivo For those, of, Vivo Vivo those of you who are kind of wondering, it's the bottom floor of the... Uh, Big pink. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I, I've been wondering myself, what's going to happen to uh, uh, office buildings now that everybody's gotten comfy uh, it's a whole thing. working from home? <laughs> Let's turn them back into venues. <laughs> that, that's that's something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that that said that? <laughs> Jeez, man, oh man. Okay, here's a here's a great song written by a great songwriter named Dan Balmer. This is called "If You Were My Girl." Is that right? Am I on the right song here? Okay. And All right, you kick it off, Dan. Yeah. We're all together. <laughs> uh, Pass the butt. Three. be easy to write I'd have no troubles at night and the darkness would fade to light now I wouldn't wait by the phone I wouldn't dread going home I wouldn't feel so all alone Oh, no If you were my girl Ah, if you were my girl Winter would have a spring If you wouldn't wear my ring Heart sing to this loneliness with just a single caress. Yes, I would know I was blessed if you were my. Don't you walk away Until I've had my say Our lives could be gay
Here's a song from the record called, is this from Heart of the City? Just the right moment, like I said, yeah. <laughs> this is called The Wild Surf. So get your surfboards.
<laughs> Stanislav says that Dan Balmer and Jeff Leonard are doing incredible jobs. And then uh, Carlton went into a solo, and he was just so impressed with Carlton. So all the way from Russia, with love to all y'all. He, he's, yeah, he, he's a regular. He, turn, he tunes in every time. 5 a.m. Yeah, it's 5 a.m. <laughs> in Moscow. <laughs> Stanislav, <laughs> dobre utra. Как вы поживаете? And why didn't you mention my name? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have missed it. I'm sure he said something nice. He, he had enough. <laughs> no, he's, he's great. He's a piano player, too. <laughs> Stanislav, all right. Uh, I want to do a, a ballad that's this really beautiful song written by Dan once again. Um, it's about love. <laughs> and I will not go any further than that. <laughs> Uh, so this is called In a Special Way. And I have to read the lyrics. Sorry.
can't go walking together across the sand I can't look into your eyes I can't take your hand least not in nobody's view together at Christmas time Baby you got your love You know I've got mine We can't do the things other lovers do We spent after dark Still I'm crazy Yes, I'm crazy About you It's from the first time Ever I saw your face well, From our first kiss To our most recent embrace I'm always feeling, feeling something new. Cause I, I, I'm gonna see this love affair through. Cause in a special way.
That's a All lovely right. Valentine's Day ballad. That is. <laughs> it is. I forgot. Valentine's. <laughs> okay. Can I can I say something real quick? Absolutely. Go ahead, man. I want to thank um, Tim Ennis, who has a company here in town called Symbol and Gong, mm. and he makes some really interesting ins instruments. And um, I've got three up here that are from his Symbol Foundry line. And Tim, thank you for letting me play your metals <laughs> All right. and stuff like that. Symbol and Gong. Symbol and gong. We'll yes. throw it up in the we'll throw it up in the chat. Absolutely. Yeah, these and, are and while we're at it, uh, uh, this shirt that I'm wearing right now is <laughs> is made by my friend Tom Bodie. Uh, and somebody asked, well, it's sort of uh, 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 not right that you've got a guitar on your shirt, <laughs> but you know it's much lighter <laughs> than a piano. So uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> What do you say is not right? Yeah, yeah. What? So what is? Uh, what's the request line saying these days? What is the request line saying these days? You've been playing so many of them. Uh, there's been a bunch for Witchy Tai Tai, but I imagine we'll get there eventually. We're not gonna. We're not gonna well, do that now. We'll think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll check yeah, it. Yeah, that's I'm right. Sorry. I'm sorry. Right, play that. <laughs> Richie Taito is a very. Uh, it's an expensive uh, song. I mean, what do they used to say? Write it on a twenty dollar bill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Now you got a message, so put the put it in the message. All right. <laughs> Did you want to say something? Oh, I just yeah? remember the guy in Jupiter, Florida, who once yelled at us. I'll give you twenty dollars to just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I said my wife has a headache and I don't feel so good either. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now I okay. Now that's coming back to me. My God. <laughs> Who did? Robert Kraft. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, what and about I had I had dinner with uh, <laughs> I, I had dinner with uh, what's the name wow. Burt Reynolds, yeah, Lonnie and Lonnie Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, I was right there with uh, the groovy people of Jupiter. And then he tried to pay you twenty dollars to stop because he had a headache. <laughs> <laughs> well, there there was something that kind of happened up in New York. Didn't we play a place like kind of like uh, you know Catskills like? Played a real quick set, and there was a guy introducing for the for the place, and he and he said, um, some guy from the, the audience shouted out, and I don't want to hear any music until I get my food. <laughs> 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 and, and, and so so the guy you know, says, no, don't worry, sir, we'll take care of you, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Grant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so we we played our set. It was just one set. And and then um, we were loading stuff out, humping it back into the car, and the guy came up to me. He came up to me and he says, "I really, I, I hope you'll you'll let me apologize to you. You guys sound really wonderful. I just hate the service in this place." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, East Coast stuff, boy. Man, oh man. But, but he, we won him over. We played one set. Well, there you go. And he just says, I, right. I'll listen to you guys all <laughs> night, but not these guys. Where's my food? That's funny. <laughs> well, let's, let's do the song that uh, I named for my cat, Bernie. Oh, that's another request. You're doing oh, another request cool. right now. All right, yeah. Sorry, we Bernie's can't, group. We can't play that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. This is when I was with uh, uh, Verve Forecast. It uh, was a label that I was with for a while. And I remember in a meeting with, uh, with the A&R people, that's artists and repertoire, and they were, we were talking over this song. And one of the A&R guys, who shall remain uh, nameless, uh, said that we should rename it uh, Najee's Groove, because Najee is, is the saxof saxophone player that plays on this song. And... Uh, I, I was just uh, uh, nasty enough to say no, <laughs> and uh, my my cat Bernie, you know, like uh, I mean, it's B it's Bernie's groove, it's not a G's yeah, groove. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, anyway, and if in, if any of you guys are out there from Verve Forecast, like uh, the the good A and R guys, like uh, uh, 
Eckstein. What's his first name? Guy Eckstein. God, you guys got better memory than I do by, <laughs> by far. Guy, if you're listening, and Jennifer Phelps, they are a couple now, and uh, I haven't talked to you guys in a long time, but Guy was a, a, a groovy guy and a, a, a great A&R person. Yeah, yeah, the the son of a great crooner. My mother was in love with Billy Eckstein. <laughs> so here's Bernie's groove for you right now. One, two, three. <laughs> Balmer, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Damn Balmer on guitar. <laughs> if that's not worth twenty dollars, I do not know what is. <laughs> 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 
So I, I think we're going to do, yeah, I, I want to do this one song and dedicate it to the memory of a great, my, one of my uh, piano idols. Uh, Chick Corea just passed away oh, recently. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, I tried to model so many things after his style and uh, I just, and one of the things he did r really nice is play these little piano ostinatos and a, and a piano ostinato is just, well, any ostinato is just a, a pattern of notes repeated over and over again. Uh, and this, uh, I, had a, I had a chance actually, I, I played on a, uh, a show with Chick. We did a, 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 a set in, in the south of France when I was touring with Tony Williams. And the bass player with Tony was a guy named Bunny Brunel. Hi, Bunny, if you're out there. And he, he's a, f a French guy, and so he had toured with Chick, and so for some reason I got to play on that uh, set. And I don't know why I'm telling you this other than to just... Uh <laughs> so I played with Chick Corea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah, we, we play. I think we were playing his tunes. I don't remember what we played, but... Uh you telling me yes. that Chick said, ha, you know, he found something, he <laughs> didn't have to look, but he said something specific nice about your playing. And, you, and I always remember this because, like, you know, when I'm giving out compliments or whatever, when you're talking to people, you know, you said something like, Chick said, you know, he's, you know, he, he's picked something specific and, and commented on that in your playing. And, and it's, that's much better than you sound good, man. Yeah. You know, oh, you sound great, man. But yeah. I, think that was, I think that was Herbie Hancock. Oh my God! Well, it might have been Keith. It might be Herbie Hancock. I mean, they were all lining no, up no, to tell you. No, no. I mean, the Herbie compliments did. just kept coming. Don't Herbie worry, did say something worry. just <laughs> specific. Yeah, it was, he said you should quit. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he just said that 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 synth sound you got was really worked with with the with the song or something uh, like that. You know. Well, anyway, I remember that. Maybe you know, maybe I've got it wrong, I but I. But that's a nice thought for you know, a specific compliment as exactly. opposed to just the, we jazz musicians over the years traditionally have sort of given it the sound good man or the yeah, yeah, right. or the sound good man. How about me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. right. One. If I remember seeing Chick Corea in the Gorge. Yeah, right. There was a jazz festival out there in the Gorge, and he played solo. Just you know, got up on piano and yeah, started yeah. playing. Started playing. And every once in a while, he find a note, a note, 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 note. You got that, Bernie? <laughs> and then you hear this voice from the back of the, the audience. Yeah, I got a chick. It was uh, Bernie Kirsch, his longtime engineer. Mm -hmm. And they were ringing the system out as, as uh. Chick was playing this just unbelievable solo to a, a, the first tune of the eighth evening for him. And he was getting the, he was ringing out the, uh, the PA system. Wow. Those guys were amazing. Yeah, totally. totally. That was great. So this is called uh, Private Beach from one of my records. I think it's from Mango Tango.
ิตตาทายกิมิระวัวนิกโกวัวนิกโกเฮนเนเฮนเนโนะวิจิตาวิจิตาทายกิมิระวัวนิกโกเราไม่ได้ทำงานเลยเราไม่ได้ทำงานเลยเราไม่ได้ทำงานเลยเราไม่ได้ทำงานเลยเราไม่ได้ทำงานเลยเราไม่ได้ทำงานเลยเราไม
<laughs> but we'll dispose of it. Sure uh, but anyway, thank you for joining us. Uh, one more song. One more song. It's called Eyes. The Tom Green Band. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Sleep tight. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Russia. Thank you. <laughs> Mother Russia. Good night, everyone.